hey, remember this chart? Remember the awful, awful days of yesteryear <laughs> when the market tanked? Um, this is this is it, it's interesting. If if you remember, 2005 was sort of the best year um, for real estate agents, not necessarily for sellers. So the market was on the rise. It felt a lot like this. Everything was crazy and and there was multiple offers and we were losing deals and um, and that was like our peak year uh, or a, uh, yeah, basically the peak year for, for number. This is um, pending sales by, by month. And in that year, we had 8,420. Well, guess what? For the first time, we have more. Since they started tracking this in 2000, we had more this past April. So this past April was hotter than 2005 in terms of transactions pending. That's huge um, because it, it's just telling, it, you know, when people say average price is up, median price is up, that tells you maybe something. But it doesn't tell you as much about the health of a market as this number does, because this means people are moving. This means people are buying houses. Because if you remember, in 2006, we heard talk of bubbles, but we didn't know anything. And, and if you look, in 2006, the number started to drop month over month, 84 to 76, 86 to 84, 88 to 80, 82 to 7, you know, it, and it... And if you look at it, then in 2007, there was still appreciation in 2007. But look, it dropped again, a, quite a big drop too. And then in 2008, it really started tanking. And here's where uh, I call this the leading indicator. We should have realized when we dropped to 4,600 transactions in, in the month of April, which is usually a, a, the best month. We should have realized the market was tanking, and we did, but we didn't. You know, people were still getting good prices. It wasn't until 2009, 10 that the market really tanked. Um, and but oh, and this is an anomaly. Remember that tax credit? <laughs> that's why they're. That's why this. These four months looked awesome, and then bam, dropped back again because it was a it was a fake recovery. The tax credit gave us a boost. Everyone was trying to close by, April, I think it was April 15th. Um, and, uh, but anyway, what's, it's just been fascinating because it's slowly been building back up and slowly building back up, but now we're over the best mark we've had in the, I guess, what is it, the last 15 years. So that's the good news. Um, the question is then, what does that mean for us? Are we, are we going to, are we, back in 2005 and we're just a year or two away from tanking um, you know it's it's hard to say and and the, the dynamics are different um, one of the biggest things is we as a area are growing so this number should grow even even without pressure on the market in just sort of a normal time more people are moving here than moving away so we should see a rise so I don't think we should get too disturbed by the fact that there's a similarity to 2005, but what I will say is if we start seeing month over month declines where, you know, you start to see, it, that was definitely a leading indicator. Um, and, and so until we see that, as long as we keep seeing similar numbers or growing numbers, then I think we have a couple of years. Um, but it, you know, but who knows? This is just my. It's it's something I observed as it all happened, and so I don't know if we can say every time uh, number of units drops, the market's going to drop. But I think it's fairly obvious too, because if nobody's buying houses, then people have to lower their price to get them to buy. So anyway, I just thought it was exciting that April 2015 finally uh, we finally beat. It.